How's it going y'all? It has been Aqua and in this video I'm going to be comparing three different microphones. The Deity VMic D3 Pro, the Rode Video Micro, and the Rode Wireless Go. The Deity 3 Pro and the Wireless Go come in at $200 where the Video Micro is only about $70. I'll link to everything in the description below. Instead of focusing on the specs of these microphones in this video, I'm going to focus more on just the pure sound quality, switching back and forth between the Deity D3 Pro and the Rode Video Micro so you can hear the difference between the two of them. I did a couple tests with these two microphones just a few minutes ago and I noticed that the D3 Pro just sounds so much much better when it's sitting on top of my camera. The D3 Pro just sounds a lot more full. It sounds a lot more hashtag thick where you can hear more of the kind of mid lows in my voice and the deeper notes in my voice, which makes me sound a lot more, you know, sexy. The Deity does a lot better in my opinion than the Video Micro at dampening down a lot of those S kind of noises so it's not super harsh. Where the Rode Video Micro to me, while it is only, you know, like a third of the price of the D3 Pro, the Rode Video Micro sounds good but it sounds a little more noisy. It sounds a little more edgy in the high trebles like the S's and the T's and stuff. They're a lot more pronounced. Another difference I noticed between these two microphones is the Deity is a lot louder than the Rode Video Micro. So in order to get about the same level of volume between these two microphones, I had to up the Rode Video Micro volume level by about 7 dB in the gain. So not a huge deal, you can always EQ the Rode Video Micro and maybe I'll do that in my video now. So now you're hearing a EQ'd version of the Rode Video Micro and I'll test that out versus the Deity D3 Pro with no equalization straight out of the camera. And also the Rode Video Micro, because it's not a powered mic, it just plugs right into the camera and you're ready to go. Where the Deity mic is actually a powered microphone, so there's a built-in amplifier inside of it. So the Deity is battery operated. Of course, you need to have a charged battery. It does charge via USB-C, which is nice and convenient. However, you do have to make sure that there is a nice charge on the D3 Pro before you plug it into your camera. Otherwise, you're not gonna get any audio in your video. And that's not cute. The Video Micro, on the other hand, is cheaper, it's tinier, and I like that it's not battery operated, so you can just kind of plug it into your camera, you're ready to go, you don't need to turn it on or anything. But when it comes to sound quality, which is what this video is mostly about, hands down the D3 Pro sounds way better to me than the Video Micro. But they're kind of two different purpose microphones. Like, obviously the Video Micro is meant to just be a plug and play, no battery type of situation. It's meant to be tiny, thus the name Video Micro. And it's just simpler to use, where the D3 Pro requires a little bit more setup. You have to make sure, of course, it's powered on. But once it is powered on and you have a nice battery, you just plug it into your camera and the sound quality is so much better. So let me know in the comments so far what you think about the difference in sound quality. All right, y'all, I switched over the mics and now what you're hearing is one of my personal favorite microphones, the Rode Wireless Go. It's that little box down here dangling underneath my chin that sounded really strange. But this is the audio quality from the Wireless Go, which has a built-in microphone. That's what I'm using right now. So what do y'all think of the audio quality between the Wireless Go and the Deity D3 Pro? These two microphone systems are both about the same price at about $200 each. Of course, the Wireless Go is a wireless system, so you can attach lavalier mics to this, and it's kind of a different purpose mic. And the Wireless Go has been my number one mic for YouTube stuff for the last several months. Shout out to Rode for sending the Wireless Go to me. Deity, by the way, did not send me their microphone. It's something that I just saw a lot of my favorite YouTubers using, and I was like, you know what? I wanna try that out too. So. How do you think this DD D3 Pro sounds versus the Rode Wireless Go? Let me know in the comments which one you think sounds better and maybe some things that you're noticing about the trebles and the bass between these two microphones. So I checked out the clip that I just recorded on my computer and did some analysis between those two microphones, the Wireless Go and the D3 Pro. And the Rode Wireless Go actually held up pretty well to the D3 Pro, but there's some definite differences between the sound quality of these two microphones. First of all, the D3 Pro to me sounds a lot more full. 
again, you know, it has those deeper bass notes and that kind of thing. However, weirdly, I noticed that the D3 Pro let in more of the environment noise, like the kind of echoes that you hear in my room. And my room is not super acoustically treated. But interestingly, I actually found that the Wireless Go did a better job at rejecting that kind of reverberation that you're hearing. And I think that has something to do with the fact that it's such a tiny microphone that's so much closer to my mouth. So it's not picking up as much of the room noise and that reverberation that to me kind of cheapens the sound a little bit. Not to say that the D3 Pro sounds cheap by any means because I could probably do a lot more, of course, in terms of acoustically treating my room. And then the D3 Pro and the Wireless Go would sound even better, less echo in the room, less reverberation. And now I'm going to add a little EQ to the Wireless Go now so you should be hearing a more thick and full version of the wireless go by adding a little more bass into that eq what's really cool about the d3 pro is it already sounds nice and bassy and thick and full to me so i don't really feel like i have to do much processing to it in post if at all also one thing about the wireless go because it is this tiny little box you can hook up an external microphone to this like a lav mic so that you don't have this box you know purely visible where the d3 pro because it's a boom mic it's meant to be of course set up with a boom stand or on top of the camera, which is where I have it positioned. It's kind of nice to be free from wires and anything touching my body, you know, a lav mic or this little box, which sometimes feels a little strange. You know, I usually have it on a t-shirt just kind of tucked under my chin and it's like touching, it's like this plastic box touching my chest the entire time, which can definitely feel really uncomfortable. And I live in Texas, it's super hot here and that can get really sweaty and gross feeling. So it's nice to have a Deity D3 Pro mic where it's just attached to my camera. I just turn it on, ready to go. I really don't have to fuss with it that much. Just gotta make sure that battery is charged. And I like that the D3 Pro has that nice full sound just right out of the box with almost no tweaking in the EQ at all. But overall, all three of these mics, I think, have really good sound quality. Let me know in the comments which mic you thought sounded best and maybe which mic you have in your setup. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Smash the like button and subscribe. You know what to do. I hope you have an awesome and creative day. Thank you again for being part of the hashtag AquaFam, and I will see you in the next video.